OpenAI just dropped something big while we all wait on GPT-5 still coming, GPT OSS, and it's completely free. What I'm about to show you isn't just another AI model, it's the moment artificial intelligence became democratized and the hidden implications for business, privacy, and global power dynamics. They're more revolutionary than anyone realizes. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast Fast for anything less than first-hand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage. Join our online school and access over 40 on-demand AI training courses, new ones added every week at firstmovers.ai slash labs. August 5th, 2025 just became one of the most important dates in AI history. OpenAI didn't just release a new model. They released two state-of-the-art open weight models under the Apache 2.0 license. That means you can download them, modify them, and use them however you want. No restrictions, no API costs, no corporate gatekeepers. This isn't just about free AI. This is about the complete decentralization of artificial intelligence, and it changes everything we thought we knew about who controls the future. So here's what actually happened. OpenAI just released GPT OSS 120B and GPT OSS 20B, two models that are performing at near frontier levels while being completely open source. The 120 billion parameter version achieves near parity with O4 Mini on core reasoning benchmarks while running efficiently on a single 80 gigabyte GPU. That means if you have a high-end consumer machine, you can run AI that's competitive with OpenAI's paid models but the 20 billion parameter version is the real game changer. It delivers similar results to O3 Mini and runs on just 16 gigabyte of memory. That's consumer level hardware, that's your MacBook, that's edge devices, that's completely local AI with no internet connection required. These aren't toy models. On CodeForce's competition coding, GPT OSS 120B scored 2,622 compared to O3's 2,706. The 20B version scored 2,516. We're talking about models that can outcode most humans on the planet, and they're completely free to download and use. But here's what makes this truly revolutionary. These are a mixture of experts' models with sparse activation. The 120B version only activates 5.1 billion parameters per token, despite having 117 billion total parameters. The 20B version activates just 3.6 billion per token. This means once you load the model into memory, running inference is incredibly efficient. They support 128K context windows natively, use the same advanced techniques as O4 Mini and O3, and come with adjustable reasoning settings. You can set low reasoning for quick responses or high reasoning for complex problems, all running locally on your hardware. And here's the kicker. They trained these models using techniques informed by O3 and other frontier systems. You're getting access to training methodologies that represent years of cutting edge research. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Unlike OpenAI's closed models, GPT OSS gives you access to the raw chain of thought reasoning. OpenAI specifically didn't put direct supervision on the chain of thought for these models because they want researchers to be able to monitor for misbehavior and deception. You can literally see how the AI is thinking through problems in real time. From previews, I've intently studied the model will 
often explicitly acknowledge in its reasoning when it's following or breaking instructions, when it's uncertain about information, or when it's making logical leaps. This level of transparency is unprecedented in AI models. This isn't just academic curiosity. This is the foundation for building AI safety systems, detecting manipulation attempts, and understanding how these models actually work under the hood. But let's talk about what this really means for business. While everyone's been waiting for GPT-5 and worrying about API costs, OpenAI just made frontier level AI completely free. No more per token pricing, no more rate limits, no more sending your data to third-party servers. You can now run AI that performs comparably to paid models entirely on your own infrastructure. For enterprises, this is revolutionary. Complete data privacy, no ongoing costs after initial hardware investment, and the ability to fine-tune models on your specific use cases without limitation. For developers, this eliminates the biggest barrier to AI innovation, cost. You can now build, test, and deploy AI applications without worrying about usage bills or vendor lock-in. For startups, this levels the playing field completely. A two-person team can now access the same AI capabilities as Fortune 500 companies. Here's what the mainstream coverage is missing. This represents a fundamental shift in global AI power dynamics. Until now, advanced AI has been controlled by a handful of American and Chinese companies. GPT-OSS changes that completely. Any country, any organization, any individual can now access frontier-level AI capabilities. This is particularly significant for emerging markets and resource-constrained sectors. Nations that couldn't afford to build their own AI infrastructure can now download world-class models and run them locally. But there's a darker implication. If good actors can download and customize these models, so can bad actors. OpenAI tested this by intentionally fine-tuning the models for malicious purposes. And while they found the safety measures held up, the cat is now out of the bag. Speaking of safety, OpenAI is taking a massive calculated risk here. They're releasing models that can potentially be fine-tuned for malicious purposes while betting that their safety training will hold up. They tested this extensively, creating domain-specific versions focused on biology and cybersecurity to simulate what attackers might do. Their conclusion? Even with extensive malicious fine-tuning, they couldn't create dangerous capabilities. But here's the concerning part. They're essentially crowdsourcing AI safety research by releasing these models and hoping the good guys find problems before the bad guys do. They're even offering $500,000 in prizes for researchers who can identify safety issues. This is either brilliant distributed safety research or the biggest security gamble in AI history. Time will tell which everyone's been obsessing over GPT-5 release dates and capabilities. Meanwhile, OpenAI just gave us something potentially more valuable, complete control over frontier level AI. GPT-5 will inevitably come with usage restrictions, content policies, and API costs. GPT-OSS comes with none of that. You can modify it, fine tune it, and use it however you want. The performance benchmarks are already there. On health benchmarks, GPT OSS 120B scored 57.6% compared to O3's 59.8%. On competition mathematics, it actually outperformed several closed models. On PhD level science questions, it scored 80.1% compared to O3's 83.3%. We're not talking about a significant performance gap. We're talking about models that are 95% plus as good as the best closed models, completely free and fully customizable. Now, here's the question everyone's asking. Does GPT OSS mean GPT-5 is canceled? Absolutely not. GPT-5 is still targeting that August 2025 release date, and here's why both models will coexist. OpenAI is running a brilliant two-track strategy that most people are missing. GPT OSS gives you power and control. You can run it locally, modify it however you want, and never pay usage fees. But it's text only, requires significant hardware, and performs at roughly 04 mini levels. 
GPT-5 will be the true frontier model. Multimodal capabilities handling text, images, audio, and video simultaneously. Built-in tools, seamless integrations, and performance that will likely dwarf current models. But it comes with API costs, usage restrictions, and content policies. OpenAI literally confirmed this in their announcement. For those seeking multimodal support, built-in tools, and seamless integration with our platform, models available through our API platform remain the best option. This isn't an either-or situation. This is OpenAI saying, here's incredible open source AI to hold you over while we finish building the most advanced AI system ever created. For businesses, this creates the perfect hybrid approach. Use GPT OSS for sensitive data processing and cost sensitive applications. Then use GPT 5 for cutting edge capabilities that require the absolute latest technology. Here's what you need to do right now download these models, even if you don't plan to use them immediately. Having local copies of frontier level AI is going to become incredibly valuable. The 120B model requires about 80 gigabyte of memory, so you'll need serious hardware. But the 20B model runs on 16 gigabyte. That's accessible to most developers and many power users. Start experimenting with local inference. Learn how to fine tune these models on your specific use cases. Begin building applications that don't depend on API access or internet connectivity. Because here's what I predict. This is just the beginning. If OpenAI is willing to release models this capable as open source, it suggests their internal capabilities are far beyond what we imagine. GPT OSS isn't just another AI model release. It's the moment AI became democratized and it's setting the stage for something even bigger. We just witnessed OpenAI's master strategy unfold, give developers incredible open source capabilities to experiment with while they put the finishing touches on GPT-5, which will likely be the most advanced AI system ever created. This changes everything. You now have access to frontier level AI that you can run locally, modify freely and use without restrictions. And in just a few months, you'll also have access to multimodal AI capabilities that will make today's models look primitive. The implications are staggering. Small teams can now compete with tech giants using GPT OSS while still having access to cutting edge capabilities through GPT-5 when they need them. But here's the crucial point. This window of opportunity won't last forever. Download GPT OSS now, start building your local AI infrastructure and prepare for the GPT-5 release. That's going to redefine what's possible. Because while everyone else is debating whether open source or closed models will win, you can be building with both the best of customization and the best of performance. The AI revolution just went hybrid. The question is, are you ready to leverage both sides of this transformation? Hit subscribe if you want to stay ahead of both the open source AI revolution and the GPT-5 release, because what we saw today is just act one of a much bigger story. Welcome to the age of hybrid artificial intelligence.